Hello Power BI Professionals! In this video, we will create this dashboard in Power BI Desktop. This report contains channels, videos and its performances such as views, likes and other parameters. We will guide you on how to create a dynamic y-axis value to visuals added in a report, tooltips, and create a filter as a bookmark. Just a disclaimer that data used in this report are all dummy and doesn't show actual performances of channels used for demonstration. And before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe in the video and leave a comment. Let's explain first the content of the data. We need the following information such as channel name, video name, views, likes, watch hours, watch duration, comments, and thumbnail image link. We will use these information to build a simple and professional dashboard in Power BI. At start, we need to have a new canvas, create pages such as home, research, overview, content, audience, and revenue. These will be our dummy pages that we will use in the home dashboard. Then go to view, page view, actual size and adjust the settings of the canvas with 890 pixels height and 1280 pixels as width. Change the wallpaper color to light gray to differentiate the wallpaper to the primary canvas. You will then change the canvas color background to dark gray and we will add an image by going to insert, click image icon, then look for an image that will be used as background. The main purpose of this image is to create a separation between the header part and body part. In the properties, you can change the size and style, the image style to fit, also change the padding to zero pixels across all sides to fit the whole image without extra paddings. With the same steps, we will add another image which will serve as our report icon. We will manually resize it and put it the top left corner of the report. In the right side of the icon, we will add pages by going to insert, click navigator icon, under Navigator, select Page Navigator to allow Power BI to identify all existing pages in the report. However, take note that we will only build the home page, so feel free to create other pages based on these video. We will now edit the properties of the Navigator. You can change the height, width, under Style, change the font type to Segway UI. We will also remove the background and border of the page navigator so it is aligned with the property design of our icon. Under the default state, change the color of the font, while for selected state, make the font bold to have a clear distinction between what is currently selected page. Then we will add two buttons, go to insert, click the button icon, and select blank button. We will change the properties such as removing the background and border of the button, then the font color is white. The icons used in the left side of the text are called text icons which can be copied and pasted and similar to emojis. The first button will be used to launch or open the selected channel to a new browser. While another button will be used to trigger channel selection or a slicer. We will place these two buttons in the upper right side of the dashboard to make it is visible to the users. In this part, we will add card visuals and to do that, Right-click in the canvas, select Add Visuals, then select Card's new visual, then put it at the top of the dashboard. We will then manually select our parameters such as views, likes, dislikes, watch hours, watch durations, and comments as total summary. Similar to other visuals, we need to adjust the height and width of the report to ensure other important visual will fit into the canvas. Also in this steps, we will remove the background color, under Shape, Change the shape to rounded rectangle. Then go to call out, change the font type to Segway UI and decrease the font size to 14 and make it bold. Do the same approach in the label and put the label below the values. We will change the name of the values and remove the word sum for simplicity purposes. You can go through all of the values and do it manually. The last step for card visual is to add icons to each parameters or measures in the card. To do that, select the card visuals, go to cards, then go to total views, scroll down and go to image property. Then select image, change the position and should be on top of the values, padding is 0px 
and size is 40 pixels to fit in the cards. You have to go through each of values and parameters and manually add the custom icons. However, you can also use image URL or links for easier approach. Feel free to adjust the position of the card visual and avoid too much white spaces from the first visual to the next visuals. Now, the idea of this dashboard is to create left side panel for channel high level information and a section for details, video information and performances. To do this custom sections, add rounded rectangle, then we'll edit also it properties and select a white background for it. We will manually resize it so the top and bottom alignment matches with the card visuals and size of the whole canvas. Then, we will just copy and paste the shape to avoid to go through all the process and manually resize it as well to match with the right and bottom alignment. In the left panel, right-click and add visuals. We will add a dynamic image visual using cards then manually resize and place it to the top of the panel. Select channel image column, go to its image properties, then select image URL, click FX button, then use first channel image. We will remove all callout information such as values and labels and we will remove the background and border of the card. Take note that this is only a workaround since there is no native visuals for images. Then, we will add a custom slicer visual known as Chiclet Slicers, right click in the canvas, select add visual then at the bottom click the three dots to search for custom visuals. Search for Chiclet and click add. You will receive a prompt if import is successfully completed. Select the Chiclet slicer and manually resize and place it at the bottom of channel image. Then go to data, select the categories and total summary of each parameters. The next steps will be more of background and font color, size adjustments so feel free to change based on color theme you're following. This will be the second visual in this left panel. Add visual, then select table, resize it accordingly select the categories and total summary data. Since we will customize this table, under style presets, select none. Go to grid and remove all horizontal lines and hide the total value. We will change the column header name to parameters and total as headers. Then, you need to change the alternate background color of each rows and adjust the paddings of the table. You can also add conditional formatting. Just to showcase its purpose, we can follow the conditional formatting suggested by Power BI and change the style to arrows format instead and click OK. The last visual that we will add is a clustered column chart. For x-axis, we will add dates and show year and months only. For y-axis, we will use views to edit its format. However, we will change it later to use dynamic change in y-axis based on parameter selected. Then. Add title and subtitle, and change the color background to dark gray, and instead of blue column color, we will select white to match with the concept theme of the dashboard. For the detailed section, we will use a clustered column chart. Put it inside the section and manually resize it. Select date video name as x-axis. Then we need to create a dynamic measure that will follow what has been selected in the chiclet slicer. Type in switch, open and close parenthesis, type true, now type selected value. If selected categories is equal to view, then sum data views. We will then copy and paste this follow and adjust it accordingly to capture all sum of values. Let change views, likes, watch durations, watch hours, and comments. When we change the category or parameter selected, the sum of values shown in the chart will adjust automatically. Example, if you select likes, then the chart will show the total sum of all likes of each video. The next part is also more of property changes. First is to add proper title and subtitle that explains the purpose of the chart. Then change the color of the column and adjust the data labels to ensure it is readable to users. At the bottom part of the section, add tables, go to data, and select the following columns such as thumbnail, video name, views, likes, dislikes, watch duration, watch hours, and comments. To expedite the process, we will copy the format of the parameters and total table. In this part, 
we will add our slicers for channels to dynamically change the selected channel in the dashboard. Click Add Visual, then Add Slicer Visuals, select the data for list of channels, go to Background and select Dark Gray Color and put Transparency Color to 2%. Then put Padding to under 20 pixels. Add Title and Subtitle accordingly to give users information about the purpose of the slicers. Make sure that your font color is white or any light color to ensure it is readable in a dark background. Also set the slicer to allow single select only which means your dashboard allows one channel selection for every analysis. Then copy and paste the first button we had created and paste it on top of the filter and put it at the bottom and change the icon and name to close panel. This part is more of change in color and formattings. We must select the data that contains all channels for visibility of all channels existing in the datasets. For us to trigger hide, unhide of both slicer and button, we will utilize bookmark feature of Power BI. For show feature of the filter, go to view, click bookmarks, then click add and change name for readability. Right click in the bookmark and ensure that data is selected, which means that the current state will be captured with the selected channel selection. For hide bookmarks of the filter, first, Go to Selection, then manually hide elements for the channel slicers and button. Then go back to Bookmarks. Click Add, right-click, then untick Data. Change the name for better readability of bookmarks. You can also test each bookmarks by clicking each bookmarks. Then to formally trigger it, select the Close Panel button, go to Actions, and select Hide Filter. Do the same for Select Filter button, but select Show Filter Bookmarks. And that's it for this video. We hope you have learned from this video. We have expedited some parts of the property changes since it has been a clear approach. Hope you like this video. If you're not yet subscribed, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're always updated with newest uploads.